Hello friends, welcome back to our help videos. In this video, we will see when and how to use the default settings in our app. Default settings should only be applied when you are looking to assign the same value for a respective attribute for all the products in your store. Please keep in mind that default settings apply only to products that are yet to be synced with the app. Products that are already synced will not be assigned the default settings values. So, any changes to the default settings will not affect them. For products that are already synced, please use the bulk edit or the automated rule feature of the app. You can check out the help video using the link provided in the description below. Here are a few examples when you should consider using the default settings. If you are only selling hats on your store, then you can assign the Google product category of hats. Or, all the products you sell are for the same gender, let's say, male. Or, all the products you sell are for the same age group, let us say adults or kids only. Let's see how to set the Google product category as the default category. Go to the sync settings from Shopify page, under settings. Now, if you are sure what Google product category needs to be set, just search here by typing a keyword. Here, we are selling apparel products in our store, so I am searching for dresses, it will show all the categories that have the word dresses. Now, let us see when to use the default settings of age group, gender and condition. Use default settings of age group and gender, only when you are selling apparel or clothing and accessories products. The default settings for the condition should only be used when you are selling used or refurbished products in your store. Now, we will see how to use default product identifiers management. If all your products have valid MPN and GTIN, select the option of brand name, MPN and GTIN. Please keep in mind that, barcodes values must be a valid GTIN for each product or variant. If you do not have a valid barcode for all your products, you should select the second option of brand name and MPN. If Google finds that your products are from a popular brand and other advertisers submit a valid GTIN, Google may ask you to provide the GTIN value. Now, if you are submitting products that are unique or one of a kind, you can submit them as custom products. You can check out our detailed video on how to use the default product identifier management. Please check the description for the link. After selecting the required options, click on save and the settings will be updated. Please note that the default settings will only work for the upcoming products and not for the already existing products. If you have already synced the products and want to change values for any of those products, please use the filter, bulk edit or the automated rule feature of the app. Hope this helps. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss out on the latest updates. Got more questions? Drop them in the comments below, or send an email, to support at Thank you for watching.